All right, people, as you can see, there's snow everywhere in my backyard. The weather is currently negative seven, and this means it's perfect weather to wear my new winter jacket. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to give a product review on this jacket because it is just so goddamn awesome. And most of you will never have one, so I kinda wanna show it off. So here we go. All right, guys, so here's my jacket. As you can see, it's like pretty padded and stuff like that. If you look in the little booklet they gave you, it's got some crazy ass layers of material. I don't even know what page it is. Yeah, see? It's got like all that stuff. I don't feel like reading it because basically it just means it's warm. So it's got real coyote on it. That's what that stuff is right there. It's nice. I like the color. Some people have like ugly reds and shit like that. Mine's nice and gray. I think it goes with the nice sand color of my jacket. It's got a utility pocket. I think it's pretty sick. I keep my Metro Pass in there. You know, the best part about owning a cat is that if the fur ever, like, goes shitty on you, you can always just kill this creature and, like, attach her to the hood. So, that's another benefit of having a cat on a random note. And, uh, yeah, things just really warm. I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt all winter. I don't even need a sweater or anything like that. Things pretty sick. And it's extremely lightweight, too. Like, crap, it's twice as thick as my other winter jacket, but it's half the weight. That's the crazy thing about this. And you don't get overheated when you're in class. I just sit with this thing in my lecture halls for like three hours, just unzip it, and you're good to go. You know, it gets a bit hot sometimes if I got the heat cranked up, but other than that, it's pretty sweet. So let's see what it looks like when it's on me, eh? Alright, so this is what the jacket looks like on me when it's unzipped. It's, uh, it doesn't look too big, surprisingly. It's nice and puffy, but like, I don't know, it's, just, it's not like one of those gangster jackets that just like flares out. I like it. It's, just, it's really nice. It's a pain in the ass when I have my backpack on though. It's really, it's a bitch to get on. Get snagged on all the pockets and things like that, but that's okay. I got this cool scarf. You can kind of see it. My friend gave it to me. It's pretty sick. It's like a Taliban fighter or something. I feel like a ninja or something like that. It's awesome. And authentic Canada Goose jackets have the crest. You know, there's lots of fakes out there. You know, just gotta be, be awesome. Just get the real thing. It's the only legit thing. You'll be freezing if you wear one of the fakes. They're like thin as shit. This thing, yeah, awesome. Let's go to another mirror. This mirror was built for like midgets or something. You like can't see shit. Like fuck, I hate this mirror. Okay guys, this is a bit better. Backlighting's pretty bad since the sun's facing the front of my house right now. But as you can see, the jacket is pretty awesome. Zips up, looks nice and slim. This is a medium. And uh, it's pretty warm. Uh, surprisingly though, even though my heat's on and everything in my house, I don't really feel it. It's pretty good that way. And uh, the hood's actually pretty cool. I'll show you that guys. I'll show you the hood in a second actually. Okay, so obviously my voice is pretty muffled right now. And you're not supposed to have the hood up all the way like this. It's pretty retarded. I think this is actually kind of hilarious. It makes the jacket even more awesome because like, it's so freaking ridiculous looking. I'm pretty like a freaking like Arctic person. I don't even know. Like, what the hell, man? Anyways, that's it for the jacket. And I don't know if you can afford one of these pups, get one. Go to CanadaGoose.com. They're pretty sweet.